What's up, guys? Welcome back to Inside the Lines. Happy Wednesday, night two of NBA playing games. We had some great games last night. More to come tonight. And we have some MLB picks for the later slate today. But Jake is happy to be running some live betting, live sim situation. So any questions you have about the MLB games happening right now, feel free to put them in the chat, as well as your questions for all of tonight's games. So let's take a look back at Tuesday night with the team. Profitable night yeah, in the NBA. I went one and one. I should have put those in there as or two and one, two and one. Yeah, two and one. I uh, should have put those in there as well. Uh, we could do better in, in baseball, but that's what today is for. We have plays to go. Stanford really uh, screwed us by playing well last night, but whatever. That's John's fault, not ours. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get started with some baseball here. Uh, Jake, any games happening right now that are catching your eye? Yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of games on right now. Maybe I uh, share the screen. We could do some live, uh, like one live game if someone comments. But first, I'll go over my plays for today. All right. Yeah. So the plays for today, Stephen, I'll send you to the chat quick to answer any lingering NBA questions before uh, we get into them. Let's talk about let's talk about Mike Trout to hit a home run because that's an awesome, fun prop. <laughs> yeah. I mean. Mike Trout to hit a home run is always a pretty good bet. They get plus 350 on Bet Rivers. It's plus 300 on a lot of other books. And we have him as the second highest player in terms of likelihood to hit a home run today. We would sit the line at plus 250. So um, he tends to hit home runs in bunches. I know last time he hit three home runs in a row. He won two games ago. It didn't hit one last game, but um, I wouldn't be surprised if he hits one today. Okay. I like the value plus 350. Again, the model would make it uh, plus 250. So love that value. Here we go. We're going to the year fives, the best bet in baseball headed to the Phillies Rockies game. Yeah. So the Phillies, I think are eighth in MLB in terms of yes, run first inning. They're hitting yes, run first inning 38% of the game is 50% of their home game so far this season. And that was right where they were last year. Cleveland, I mean, not Cleveland, Colorado is in the middle of the pack. I think they're 18th and they were 18th last year. So um, they're pretty consistent. So we're mostly betting on Philly to score in the first inning based on that. We would set this line at around minus 150 for yes, run first inning. And you get a minus 118 on Bet Rivers, and it was minus 130 on DK. So you're getting some good value if you line up there. Bet Rivers really showing off the team today. Uh, I know. Seeing- I was looking at all the Bet Rivers for all the baseball plays. Where it's all Bet Rivers is the best line. So shout yeah. out to Bet Rivers today. Damn, I see some live betting questions, but let's get to one more player prop we have here. Again, from Bet Rivers, Trey Turner stolen base. Trey Turner stolen base, he is due. That's uh, more than why yes. I, I like this play. <laughs> we ha- have him, uh, I think, plus like 275 to steal a base. So plus 375, you're getting good value. He gets around 30 stolen bases per year, and I think he only has three this year or not that many. So he's due. I don't think he's stolen bases last 10 games. So this is a one of the, the plays where he's due. It's a good opportunity for him. Uh, and I, I like this play against uh, Ryan Feltner, who I don't think is one of the better uh, pitchers in terms mm-hmm. of caught stealing percentage. Right. All right, let's turn to the chat here for some questions. Uh, got some Twitter chat going here. Live betting the Reds money line, potentially. Let's see what okay. that entails. Let's see. You can share my screen if you want. You plug it yes, all sir. In. So let's see. I'll, I'll use DraftKings for now for a lot of odds. Um, oh, or we could set it in a situation and we could put out what we have. Um, yeah. right. Let's see. One, it's one, one now. I think so. Bottom four is your out. So it's a perfect time to do it because there's. Let's get the live value. I believe Steven just put the data out here. Live Sim has take Seattle if you can get it at minus 128 or less, or value on Cincy if you can get them at at least plus 160. Yeah, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much Seattle, Max Juice minus 126, uh, Cleveland plus 161. You could get right now DraftKings plus 110 for Seattle. So if you like the Reds, get them there. Mm-hmm. Now uh, just move, basically it's recorded out Seattle or Cincinnati just recorded out. So now it's, yeah, it's good. It's moving a lot right now. And then I'll be on your toes under. Yeah, exactly. Um, I don't think there's live over. 
product value of 6.8. So the live line is six and a half. So slight value on over, you get it at plus 105 on over. Mm -hmm. Plus money. All right. Plus money. It's all we like to see. Um, let's go to the Angels pitcher here, looking at his strikeout prop set at six. If we have any opinions on that. I mean, he's on our fantasy team, so hopefully he <laughs> gets this number. We tend to under project strikeouts, but what we could do is look at the best players in terms of value for strikeouts today. Sorry, the model's running a little slow right now. We could do the top 20. And so we have Detmers as like in terms of strikeouts, number three behind Lopez and Gosman, who already pitched. So was it six plus strikeouts? Yeah. So we have value there. We like that. Okay. Good to know. And he's been really good. He, he's faced Boston both of his last two starts, and he's really good against them. And um, it's, uh, yeah, like Big G just said, he has a no hitter against Tampa. Mm hmm. All right. Seems like a pretty solid amount of uh, MLB for right now. Any more questions we can certainly answer with the chat. We will move on over to, whoa, to the NBA uh, playing games here. I'll bring Steven back in. We'll head over to his model for some of those. Um, let's look at some player props that we like. I guess first let's take a look at what value we have overall in the Heat Sixers. And now we have slight value on the over here. If there is an over to pick tonight, it's probably this one. Yeah. Yeah, we had it. It's now – now it's basically nothing. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't go worry about that. I am just for superstitious purposes because we showed this graphic yesterday. So I'll show it again. So we are now on our fifth day of pro – fourth day of profits. Uh, so hopefully we can uh -oh. get another five, five streak. We had another five streak back in this stretch here. So it's not impossible. Um, I'm feeling good. Actually, that's Me not too. true. <laughs> I feel good about uh, 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 McKenzie's that she'll give out. Um, but I'm going to go with the, okay, Joel Embiid over 30 and a half points plus 100. You can still get plus money. Whenever you, I see plus money on a line that's well under the player's average, you got to take it. He, whether he's slowed down by injury or not, whether Miami's got a great defense or not, whether Bam is a great defender or not, it's still, um, I'm going to fade the fact that I think a lot of people don't have faith in Embiid when he's banged up at the end of the season in the playoffs. Cause he does average last four seasons. I believe his playoff average is four and a half under his regular season average. I mean, I like the, the the thought of him. I know you'll mention it later, but just spending more of his energy on offense. Yeah. Which is why, which is why I went with bam. Um, so I, and this isn't plus money, but it's pretty good. Close to even money over 17 and a half. And that line is again, a full two and a half points under what he averaged on the road this season, which is 20 and the over is 25 and 10. So I like that trend. I think there's the line's, Lower because again he comes in just three and one unders, five and three his last eight, his last four games against Embiid is under all four games, but I, I think that the way I saw Embiid he was not moving well, and yeah he'll just I think reserve his what limited mobility he has on offense and hopefully let Bam you know even if Bam has to shoot from the perimeter and you know and whatnot to get to eighteen points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see that happening here. I'll segue that into my plays for this game. I'm not touching the later game tonight, just the Heat Sixers here. Um, but hopefully somebody who will be putting up a lot of points is Kelly Oubre. I have him over 18 and a half points and rebounds at plus 104. Now you can get it at plus 110. I'm starting to feel like this makes way too much sense, but I'd also feel like an idiot if this hit and I didn't take it. But he's crushed this number recently in March when they played the Heat without Embiid, and he crushed this number with Embiid in the lineup as well, and he's 11-3 and three to this over in his last month, averaging almost 25 points and rebounds. So someone could tell me what I'm missing here. Yeah. I'd love to know, but I'm having a really hard time getting myself away from this. So Kelly Oubre is the first member of the prop party for tonight, and then I will be going also to Duncan Robinson here over six and a half points. This is a bit of a gamble on if he's going to play the appropriate amount of minutes, if he's back from his injury, if he's feeling healthy. I feel like he must be considering the other injuries going on. I feel like he's going to play hard. We don't need too much from him. I think seven points is very obtainable considering how bad he's been shooting from deep. I believe it was, what was it? He's made like six of his last 26 three-point attempts. Was that what it was? 
Yeah, over five games. Yeah, so that's hard to keep up. Yeah. When I'm talking about regression to the mean, it's sucking less. So I think we can get seven points out of this guy here tonight, getting ahead of the books in the buy low spot coming off the injury and coming off the poor games. Um, If they make it past this round, this line will not say it's six and a half. So let's get it while we can, people. Let's get it while we can. I'm going to go with Hawkins too. So hopefully one of us, hopefully don't cancel each other out. Like, yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> we're both going for the low baller here. <laughs> exactly. I, there's no way it goes zero and two, right? One of these is going to hit. One of these over six and a half because they're both situations where the line is well, you know, five or to six points under their average. They both have a so I'm, I'm going hot because we also like the fact that at UCLA he was he stepped up big in his in the March Madness game. So maybe he's a high pressure postseason player. Mm-hmm. Even though he's a rookie, so I think the, the line is price based on this idea that rookie is not going to get a big role in their first postseason game. But I think it's an exception with an older veteran player like Hakez, a veteran because he played a lot of years in college. Right. Yeah. Um, I think that's kind of a similar to the Duncan Robinson play where it's like, no, this is almost trying to get ahead of the trends. Like this could be a line that skyrockets up the minute after this game, if they win. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm seeing the chat talk a lot about hero here. This might be not many games. He's going to be awesome in this matchup specifically might be one that he could play well in. I mean, we have a, we have a, we lean under, uh, I guess, you know, nothing, nothing massive either way. Um, if I had to make a pick on him, I, you know, he, I could see him getting a lot of minutes uh, um, with, with the injuries there, but. How about we, our boards and assist here? That's what I'm looking at. Well, after last night when Steph did not get over nine and a half rebounds and assists, rebounds and assists have become my official worst bet type. <laughs> Three and nine on the board. Well, maybe if you um, like the under the chat. Well, yeah. So, so so we 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 lean over four and a half rebounds for hero, but it's a minus one hundred sixty four. I think this is Caesar's line. That so maybe you get a better price. We we have under four and a half assists, so we probably don't have any value on over four rebounds and assists for him. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, seems like it's on the sports line site. Someone has an over, which we don't disagree. We're not here to tell you that we're anti-hero yeah. uh, boards and assists. There's just other plays that we feel more passionate about, like my boy Duncan Robinson. And hi. Well, maybe he's, hopefully he's passing a lot to Robinson and Hawkes. Perfect. Yes. And bam. Everybody wins. Everybody wins. Um, it's all right. not good to have three Heat players on our over in points. Yeah, I feel, like, I feel like we're well. I kind of went out on my own accord on my plays, so that's not your fault. That's yeah. Mine. Maybe it's two out of th- maybe you can go for two and one. Maybe that's like we're we're, we're we're we've reined McKenzie in, so he's no longer doing the turn 20 into 500 in five days off like <laughs> two picks yeah. a day. So, so now two and one is a is a is the goal. Yeah, yeah, I'm just trying to make profit, mm-hmm. but why I don't know why I was setting myself up for failure before. Well, I do know why. Yeah. That's a whole different story. All right, let's move on to the second game. I don't see any other questions in this game. Uh, going to the Hawks in Chicago here. Chicago, we thought the line would move towards Chicago. It hasn't really yeah. steamed. Still three-point favorites here. Yeah, and uh, I've seen even a two-and-a-half on ESPN at minus one t- heavier juice. And then there's three-and-a-halfs mm-hmm. so others. So it's, it's, it's stayed at three. So I, I like – I think I'll take Chicago on the money line. Just anecdotally, it seems like Chicago often has control over a game. Again, if this was a three-quarter game, I think they might be out by nine or ten. But they have a tendency to blow leads late, um, sometimes co- costing them games against good teams and costing them spread against bad teams. Not that Atlanta's bad, but they haven't been playing well coming into the game. So I switched. I'm going to go with the money line because it's still available at minus 145 on two different books. Um the reason why the projection is really strong in Atlanta uh, on, on Chicago in this spot is, well, a Atlanta is bad on the road, but we are projecting a big rebounding edge for Chicago um, because Clint Capella is a good rebounder, but whether through foul trouble, age, he's not usually someone who can ends up playing forty minutes. You can't just amp him up even when they need it. Um, the the backup center Kongu is out, and most importantly, the power forward Jalen Johnson out. Sadiq Bay at small forward is having a career year in rebounds and he's out. So Bruno Fernando, who's a pretty good scorer, he's not, you know, when he gets a chance, he's not, he's not a bad rebounder, but he's not like a rebounding machine. He's not like Andre Drummond or something for Chicago. 
So, you know, you see his last game, he had 12 points with just two rebounds. So he's not necessarily going to help him there. So I think that Chicago is plus two on the boards at home. Atlanta's minus two on the road this season. Uh, and then I just think that Chicago's re- rebounding edge, maybe we're a little too optimistic to have like a nine rebound edge. Maybe it's closer than that, but I, that's why I like Chicago to win. And I like DeRozan to go over four and a half rebounds. At, it's a steep price because it's five and a half most spots uh, at a lower juice. Models at 5.3. The season trend, I'm not buying because down the stretch when Chicago's needed to play well to get into the playoffs or the play in, he was 12 and eight over four and a half. He might play the entire game. He's been playing 40 plus minutes, you know, down the stretch here. So, and backup center, Andre Drummond, who doesn't, he does, he rebounds extremely well. But outside of that, his plus minus often hurts the team. So he he's barely playing recently. So maybe if he doesn't play, um, then just the team needs everyone everyone to rebound besides Vucevic. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jake pulled a little bit of a, a you play back from the Super Bowl, Stephen. Jake tonight is going uh, with the parlay of these two picks here. Jake, want to tell him about it here with your plus 160 play? Yeah, I'm going through. I was in five plus rebounds. Bulls my line, plus 160 parlay on Hard Rock. Got it. Let's steal one from Steven here. Yeah. yeah, but but see, mine mine was a more effective steal because mine literally yeah, <laughs> would. The better you do, the better I would do. Here, if I'm yeah. wrong, you lose. So uh, yeah, you have a lot to true. learn about being devious and competitive. You're, you're, you're just all optimism and, and, and cheer. I appreciate but it. If you get both right, I get one right. Plus 160 is probably like the same. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 this is true. But uh, yeah. And also for Atlanta, to Trey Young, uh, he, you know, he's obviously not a great rebounder, but he's going to probably play a lot. And I just think that also hurts Atlanta on the boards. Mm-hmm. Um, a question about Caruso here, his rebounds and assists. Do we not have any value on his blocks and steals? Has Vegas caught up to us? I don't know. I, I, I didn't pop up as jumping out. So let's let me – I'm curious about that. So Desunmu, who missed the last few games of the season, supposedly is in. And that's why we didn't have the normal bump up of um, Caruso. Sorry, I went down my shirt. Blocks, we have, so minus 164, we have overvalue on the blocks. Steals, we have, we don't have, well, plus 129. So blocks and steals have two and a half. We have 2.93 blocks and steals at two and a half. And if it's minus 179, that's probably a little steep. You probably want to see at least 3.2, 3.3 blocks and steals to mm-hmm. see valuable. Value there. If the Sun was ru- ruled out, then the line is over two and a half at say minus one sixty as a best price. Then I would take it. Right. Because if yeah, he's ruled out, then we'll have Caruso. We'll have Caruso bump up in minutes. We'll have he'll get he'll get to over three projected, and he will have a good value. So if you think that he'll get more minutes than we're projected, if you're confident with that, and you can get a good price, I'm curious what it is. Then let's see. Shout out Odds Jam. Yeah. And their complimentary accounts. Uh, yes. Um, let's see. Alex You're looking Caruso. For Caruso, you passed Yeah. Him. Minus 166. I was thinking minus 160. I, I, I think that's that's tempting. Um, let me see. I just what? love when no one else knew about it. It was like plus 120. Yeah. Like, so, this is even – Anywhere past minus 130 is nauseating. This history of eight and seven plus 181, so plus 1.8 units on just eight and seven, that's that's probably fueled by Caruso. I was going to say, yeah, about eight and seven plus 180. That's a, that's a, that's a Caruso uh, driven thing. So, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. And, and plus, he's going to be, yeah, they, they're very perimeter oriented right now, Atlanta. Uh, they're, they're, I could see him getting blocks and steals on all four of their leading projected scores. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. I don't think I see many more questions here for these games. Uh, tomorrow we will be able to look at the Friday games. Hopefully when do you think the props will come out for Friday they could night be out games? tomorrow. They'll, they'll probably be out tomorrow. So we can do some initial preview. And then we also look at the playoff series, yeah, uh, yeah, anything yeah. value. Usually there's not great, great values on the actual series, but sometimes you can find something good mm-hmm. on uh, individual games like, winning in five, winning in six, that kind of thing. Right, right. 
We'll take a look, guys. We got all the good numbers, all the data. Any questions you have, we're here to answer them. Just hoping everyone comes here to learn something, take something away for the night. Um, all right. I think that's all we have today. A nice, quick little show today with just two games here. Uh, tomorrow, again, like we just said, we'll preview the rest of the playoffs, which will be very exciting. Maybe get some early action, some act now plays, which is always what pays off. So with that said, good luck with your bets tonight. We'll see you guys tomorrow.